look man we are back with yet another reaction on this channel look this has been a very highly requested video for about the past three four days i'm not too sure why but a lot of you guys are asking me to react to this video right here we have strange people and crazy crazy eating habits now i'm not too sure why you guys want me to react to this especially because you know how i feel about these weird ass mukbangers <laughs> We reacted to a guy yesterday who was kissing frogs and shit and eating fried frogs and eating whatever the- Huh? Look, man. That's besides the point. We're about to hop into this video right here. Strange people crazy eating habits. We're about to see exactly what they do. Let's get into it, man. So they My eat name is cushion. Jennifer, and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter. None of that. Abby. So you just say mayonnaise and butter like that shit was funny. What's wrong with this bitch, man? Couches, box springs, chairs. But for the last 10 years, mattresses has just been my thing. The good stuff to me is the pillow top itself. Then I go down to this part. I cut it. After that, I just start ripping it as I go. I get to a piece. After sex, I would want some. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clapping the yanks? Gonna be me, man. Gonna be me, my guy. Look. Gonna be me, my guy. But check me out. This is the thing that I, I have to know. This is the thing that I'm most curious when I react to videos like this. It's like, bro, what inspired you <laughs> to go in your matches and start eating this shit? <laughs> Like, what really went through your mental process when you said, hmm, let me try a mattress. Like, never thought about that in my life. In the, in the toilet. It comes out in whole pieces. It was all the splashes I was eating. I was like, it clogged up the toilet. Like, it's just sitting there. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it, do everything I did to it, and I could use it again if I wanted, if I was that desperate. It ain't that, I mean, it ain't that strange. I'm having sulfur burps. Sulfur burps. Okay. Yeah, like a fart in my mouth. Okay. I'm 19 years old, and I love eating salt. Huh? But this one is the best one. That bitch clean. Kind of reminds me of like a. That bitch too clean. Cheese. It's like a drug. I just feel so good when I do. <laughs> I like strawberry banana mango smoothies. She likes strawberry banana dove smoothies. Are you crazy? What? I'm addicted to it. It tastes so amazing. Mm. I eat at least two bars of soap a day. These are all of my soaps. I look at the soap like kids because it's like I'm the mommy and I don't have a favorite. Like I love you and I love you and I love you and I love you. See how it turns into like little flakes. Pop it in. And just let it dissolve. I need a moment of silence. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day. This man is crazy, bro. Don't you think it has like a soapy, like a soapy, sudsy feeling once you let that shit dissolve? Like, bro, people are weird in this world. People are lost, man. Shit is a bot. <laughs> What is wrong I don't think with you, bro? I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks. So they love she got the gas on them. I was just out walking one day. I had no intention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or ah. bite on it. Yo, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'll eat some raw squid. I'll eat some raw squid before I eat a damn rock. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. All these mukbangs that we've seen, I'll test them out. I'll try their food out before I eat this shit, bro. I'll just put the whole piece in my mouth and. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest. Look, this, 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 
Bro, should've eaten a rock, bro. <laughs> and get the earthy taste off of it. Yeah, the earthy taste, yeah, yeah. This woman is eating herself out of house and home. It's almost like a treat coming here, like a sweet shop. Quite literally. Happy. It's like succulent. This shit is dry, what you mean succulent, bro? So most days, I eat brick. Different walls have different tastes, and I have preferences as to which walls I prefer to eat. It's meant to go in my mouth. No, it's just like not. Any other food. It's not. This one will make It's not food. Bro, you have a psychological condition if you think it's food. It's like crushed tablets, because it's got like a bitter taste. In 15 years, Patrice has consumed a ton of brick and plaster. I don't particularly like the brick in the house I'm living in at the moment. So I tend to go to my grandmother's house and dig out her brick. No, Shelly is the built like a brick, brick, bro. <laughs> it's more crunchier, and I enjoy the flavour better. Every week, Patrice makes a two-hour round trip to her grandma's house to stock up on her favourite walls. Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side. Her addiction has recently evolved. Uh, I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh, no. Don't want you to freak out. You know, I carry around Sean everywhere. Um, I've been eating his ashes. <laughs> wow. That shit's not even funny, bro. Like, he'll always be a part of me mm -hmm. because... Right. I'm eating him, you know? Yeah, but I don't know what to think about that. With the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers. I'm eating my husband. First, I lick my finger, and I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. And then I just eat it. It tastes like rotten eggs, sand, and sandpaper. My name is Robert. I'm 23. That's sad, bro. That's really sad. You can tell that she's, like, you know, emotionally attached, emotionally stressed about the passing of her husband. She had pictures all over the wall. I don't know if they did that just for the dramatic, the dramatic feeling of the show or if that's what she literally lives in, but Shorty is eating her husband. That shit is different, bro. I live with my fiance and I'm addicted to eating plastic bags. Now he's gangster. My favorite bags are the, the bags off the newspaper. Yeah, he's gangster. I start off my day by eating a whole bag. The first taste of that plastic in the morning is the best part of my day. This right here is my favorite because. It's chewing, it's malleable. It's, it's chewing. <laughs> my guy right here, bro. Look, we look alike. Look, we look alike. It's my guy right here, bro. This nigga eats plastic bags. Gangster. Gangster. Vicky rapper Huna Gundy suffers from a rare eating disorder, which makes him crave bricks, mud, and gravel. The 30-year-old from Karnataka, India, has been consuming the unusual diet since he was 10. What's wrong with this nigga, bro? Hunagundi claims to consume around one brick a day, as well as eating up to two kilos of mud and gravel. Friends and family now want him to stop the habit. For the good of his health, Hunagundi is adamant he will continue. <laughs> My name is Nicole. I'm 26 years old. Bro, she's gonna have the weirdest eating addiction. I can just tell by the way that she speaks. I can just tell by the way that she speaks, bro. And I'm addicted to eating drywall. Told you. Mmm, yup. Yummy. I am literally eating my house. Nicole has been addicted to eating drywall for over seven years. 
I switched from chalk to drywall because drywall tastes better than yep. chalk to me. Nicole ingests drywall up to six times a day. Yeah. I love mm. the smell of drywall, yeah. the texture of it, the mm -hmm. taste. I love everything about drywall. Yes, sir. So this is it. This is that little problem you're Yeah, that's about. my the little hole I've been telling. So how the heck can it happen? Well, for the past seven years, I have been eating drywall. Eating drywall? Are you serious? Yes. This is not some kind of joke. <laughs> my, son, my son has one tooth right there. <laughs> like we're not making fun of him. This shit is just funny. <laughs> Doesn't matter who it was. The nigga has one tooth right there. I never seen that shit before. Maybe it's one tooth on this side or this side. This nigga had it in the middle. No. <laughs> you ever see that shit? Got to get you to see a doctor. And I'm with you as always on everything. We know we're gonna get past it. They got one tooth in the middle, bro. I've never seen them shit like that before. Bro. Now, I don't know if y'all remember this, but there was a woman who ate cigarette ashes. Y'all remember her? Yeah, y'all yeah, watched the Tyra show. Y'all like, yeah, I remember that. And do you remember that she loved them so much that she would use them as an ice cream topping? Somebody's repeating, like, like saying it before I even say it. Kirsten is a school teacher who has a craving that started in the classroom. The secret is I like to eat chalk dust. Not just, not by the chalk, but I like for it to be crunched up. So let's get the smaller piece. Push it on up. This is a good little mouth. I scoop it up on my finger and I lick it off my finger. I've never told anyone, not even my husband or my family. I've always kept it a secret because I was very ashamed of it. So let's not tell your husband or your family. Let's tell the whole world. <laughs> Let's tell the whole world. Fuck it. Come out the closet. Tell the whole world about your chalk eating addiction, bro. But look, I'm gonna end this video right here, man. All right. If you guys do want to see a part two, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.